This video is brought to you by Black Dragon Miniatures. Go check out their website today at blackdragonminiatures.com for all your wargaming and hobby needs. Welcome to another battle report at Black Dragon Miniatures. I'm here with Lee McAlpin from Bleat Up Productions. Yeah. I never get to say that right. It's, oh no, it's a bit of a tongue twister, yeah, I apologise. No, yeah. uh, right, so today, uh, really exciting. Uh, we've just done a playthrough. Uh, I'm a bit under the weather which is what I'm going to put it down to because i got ass handed to me. <laughs> um, however, <laughs> we're going to play Warlords of Era 1, uh, which is basically the new game uh, from Rick Priestley, um, esteemed game designer, uh, produced with uh, Warlord Games. Um, coming out at the end of Jan, roughly around about the time this video is going to hit the uh, YouTube. Um, Really good game, based on Gates of Antares. Uh, some people will see some familiarity with Bolt Action because it uses the Bolt Action order dice, uh, but it's actually more akin with Gates of Antares in the way that the actual game works. Um, so, in the first point, uh, lots of things have been tightened up from Gates of Antares, um, so obviously don't let that put you off. I know that's got a bit of a um, mixed response, yeah. it really does desperately need a, a sort of version 2 to lock all the rules back in. So this is a tightened up version, um, obviously with it being fantasy set, um, there's not so, so many different weapons and bits and bobs in there and again that's all confined uh, down to a nice easy chart. Um, so lots of the races in this game are going to be very similar to what you're used to, there's yeah. knights, there's orcs, there's goblins, um, olympians, gnolls if you're familiar with the North Star range. Um, and halflings even have got their own list, which is cool, lads. Um, so, so we're going to do about 1,250 point game today. Uh, we have the might of my old Bretonians, uh, who finally get to uh, see daylight again, yep. uh, which is all good. <laughs> uh, which is going to be controlled by Lee. Uh, he's going to be the, the, the Duke of Draken Noir. Yeah, love it. Um, so he's going to be him. Uh, and um, so faction wise, or what he's got within his uh, faction, he has two units of men-at-arms with halberds, yep. um, a unit of foot knights, um, a priest who's fairly horrid, and you'll oh, see yeah. him in a bit, uh, yes. he likes stealing order dice. Uh, we have two units of archers with longbows, so they've got some decent range on them. Um, we have a green knight, i.e. a champion, uh, and then we have the lord and his retinue, uh, mounted knights, and not forgetting the damsel with <laughs> Peter the Cat. The okay, uh, her familiar. All right. Um, up against them, we have the not so mighty um, Thunderhoof, and he's Beastman Horde. Um, so Thunderhoof is basically him and a couple of bodyguards. Um, he has a unit of Vestigors or Beastmen Guard, as they're called in this. Uh, we have five centaurs. We have a centaur leader with a magical bow. Uh, we have three Minotaurs and a Minotaur Lord. We have a Beastman Shaman. And then we have the low Beastman, bless them. Um, so effectively, we have a unit of 10 Spearmen and two units of five Archers. Um, and that's nearly it, because the coolest unit in my list is my Harpies. Yeah. Who basically fly around the board throwing stones um, and basically are they're untouchable, that's the best way of describing well, them. Well, yeah, not you quite. You can't it, shoot them, hit them or anything you unless shoot, they attack. You can shoot them, you can shoot them, you yeah. just, you can't hit them unless you fly. It's, um, yeah, it's so basically they all come in, they'll swoop in, do an attack, you get to fight back in attack, uh, but then when they fly back off, uh, they're immune to combat, yeah. uh, which is great. Uh, so I'm going to use them a bit more this time, I think. Yeah. Right, okay, so uh, we're going to get cracking straight into the game. Um, we'll put up a list of the army list so you can um, have a look at those. And that's basically it. Uh, we're going to play a standard en encounter. We're both basically coming onto the board. Um, meeting engagement, if you're familiar with bolt action. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, it's whoever breaks first. So the break values for today, uh, the knights have nine order dice. Uh, so they will be have a break value of five. Okay, the beastmen have 11 order dice and as such will have a break value of six. So as soon as we get to the break value, okay, we will end the game at that point. Otherwise we'll play for six turns 
and we'll see how we get on. So, hope you enjoy. And uh, just one other thing, just to add uh, regarding this game, does all of my bases are round? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Um, you can use squares. So, if you've got all your old old hammer stuff, you can use square bases. Um, you can use round bases. Doesn't matter. At the end of the day, each model is individual, can be individually based. Okay. Yep. The other cool thing is Warlords of Erewhon. Whilst they are bringing out some orcs and some skeletons on the release date, uh, Warlord aren't necessarily going into this as a model range. As such, you can use whatever you like. So, for example, today, all of mine are fundamentally Games Workshop models, with the exception of the Foot Knights, who are Fire Forged Teutonic Knights. Um, but if you've got Mantic models, or you've got um, any other models that you wish to use, whether it be Ancients, um, whatever, at the end of the day, fill your boats. The lists are fairly generic, so they can be sort of uh, most model ranges can be shoehorned into them. Okay, right, so let's get cracking. Yeah, let's you do ready this. For this. Yeah, yeah, let's bring yeah. on the pain. Let's okay, do this. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. And so it begins. Okay, so uh, we've already deployed. Um, Lee's just showing you the um, units on the table. Um, Obviously, in this scenario, we basically draw one dice from the bag, so we've already done the deployment. And uh, quite an advantage for me already on deployment because Lee has had to deploy all of his force, and I had about six dice remaining. <laughs> yes, you did. So, whereas I'd started a castle on one side, I've now done a castle on this side as well, as Lee's force is majority middle to his right flank. So, the first dice out of the bag for turn one is a grey die, so over to you, Lee. We'll move up these lines, because there's not a lot of shooting on this side of the board, so if we focus on these bad boys, and then all I'm going to do is give them an advance move, um, well, just a, 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 what's it called? a run, sorry. A run, so this is two, double their movement, so that'll be 10 inches. That's true, so we'll switch the dice to run, and then they're just going to go 10. And the one thing to bear in mind with these knights, they have the heavily laden rules, so they cannot sprint. So run is the fastest they can go at 10. That's true. Other well, infantry could have gone 15, passing an agility check. These guys, unfortunately, yeah. full of armor. All right, next one. Oh, it's you again, Lee. It's me again. Yeah, so. Uh, Archers have range 30, correct? Correct. So if we hilariously get them on the board <coughs> quick enough, let's do it. So we're going to use the advance rule, which okay. is, allows me to move and shoot. So, okay, so five inches. So we're going to move them up five to begin with, which puts them there. So these archers standardly come with bows, but they've got the upgrade to long bows, giving them a 30 inch range instead of a 20 inch range. What we're going to try, because 30 inches is quite impressive, we're going to try and shoot your bowmen before they get an opportunity. Okay. So. The closest guy, if we have a gander, is there. So as you can see, they're all going to be within range. Yep. And the furthest guy back there is also in range. Okay, so okay. six dice, six D10s. Uh, you want as low as you can, obviously, in this. And they have an accuracy of five, um, but they're over short range. So as such, over 10 inches is minus one. Yep. Okay. So uh, you are looking for fours, sir. So I'm looking for fours, just to get a little bit of shots on the board. So what we have is we have four successes and we have two failures. Okay. So four successes. Right. I will put one on my leader. Okay. Which will be the orange dice as he has the top roll, giving him a reroll. All right. And I'm looking for fours. Uh, unfortunately, the leader failed on a zero, so we can't reroll that. No. So the leader is dead. Okay. One other guy is dead on a zero. Okay. Two survive. So I lose two guys, and because I've been shot at, I take a pin, which we'll use d6 for. You again, Lee. Are you kidding? Can I? Wow, okay. Look, they are in there. They, they... Are they in there? Yeah, yeah they are. Oh, they are. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot more brown in there, though, okay. now. I'm looking at the battlefield at the moment. That's kind of scary. That's extremely scary. So what we'll do is, for these guys, we'll just do an advanced move up with my first powered air unit. So that's, again, a double, double movement. So what we'll do is we'll put them there, and then we'll move them up to there. So we'll put them in a bit of range of those archers over there but I want to get them up the board to get some good field position. So, do you think this is going to be a grey or a brown? Brown, I hope. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A grey one again? We're going to go with 
my monk geezer, that's mm -hmm. the best way of describing it. I'm just going to do uh, a run, so he's just going to do double his movement, which will go 10, and it will just put them here next to with his bodyguards, just so we can keep it moving because. Okay, so this guy, his main role in the game is to. Uh use Divine Intervention, which basically allows him to potentially steal order dice from the Beastmen force, which is pretty nasty. It is me! Yay! Okay, go. so, I'm tempted to move my Centaur Lord with his magical bow. Okay, and he's going to move up here because he is fast eight mm -hmm. on an advance. And he's going to shoot his magical bow at the knights on the hill. Okay. So, his magical bow gives him a plus to his accuracy. Right. Okay, so let's have a look what we get. Okay, so four is a success. Uh, four. Yeah. Uh, the magical bow is at strike value two, so that can be nominated to any one of your knights. Mm -hmm. uh, your leader would obviously get a reroll because of the tough roll, uh, but it's minus two strike value. Let's go just with a normal guy then. So, is it just one? One dice, yeah. And uh, a six, six says he's okay. However, it does mean he takes a pin from the unit being shot true. at. That is 100% true. So we just mark that just there. With a pin. Um, the method in that is I'm just trying to put a couple of pins on because potentially the centaurs may decide to uh, have a charge against the foot knights. Yeah, it makes sense. Fight on a hill, yeah, mate. Yeah, So uh, let's see what we get. That's the next dice. Okay. It's you again. Okay. Is we're going to use the harpies. Yep. And they're going to fly over the top to here and throw their rocks at the uh, at the knights as well. Again, trying to put some more pins on. So this is uh, one dice each. Uh, accuracy is normally a five on these guys, so five or less. Uh, we have the one success, which is yep. all we need to put which the pin on. Which is a four, yeah. Um, and again, strike value one because um, the rocks are coming from some height. And uh, so it's one save. Um, it's a break. And that's Ten. a fail. That so is that's a fail. One of the knights falls. So that is, we'll put the guy who's pointing. He okay. can die. And that's, yeah, pinned. So. Okay. Next one. And it's back to uh, Lee. All right, let's figure this out. For the next one, we'll just move the green knight up. He's just going to do an advance. Uh, he's got fast eight, so he can go 16, but we're not going to go super crazy because I just want to move him up into position for possibly some shenanigans uh, next turn. So we're just going to move him up there and just keep it simple. It is me. It is Brown. We're going to attempt to try and strike at the heart of the Bretonian force by trying to take down their mighty knights. We're going to charge with these guys. 16 gets me in without having to make an agility roll because they're fast eight, so it's a, it's a run move. Yep. Okay, so no need to test agility on the way in. Uh, now these centaurs are armed with spears, which means as they enter into combat, okay, anyone armed with missile weapons, and basically exchange missiles on the way into the charge. Okay. So I have five dice. And now the centaurs also have the rule of dead eye shot, which is a bonus I've given them, so they get to re-roll one miss as long as it's not a zero. Okay. Okay, so I was looking for fours. Yeah. Two successes. Yeah. I'll take those out of the way, and I'll re-roll one of the misses. Right. So that's a three. One. So the foot knights have an armor value of eight. It's at minus one. So they're looking for. And now, are you putting one on your leader? Uh, yes. So I've got yeah. the orange dice is my leader. Seven. So we're looking for sevens, okay, and they're, they're all, all fine, so they're all fantastic. However, yet again, another pin. Yeah, so they're currently, what, pin three now? Pin three. Jeez Louise. Yeah. And now you get to attack, because now, now it's we combat. Fight. So the fighting is simultaneous, okay, because neither of the units is down. So the centaurs, I'll do these first, they get two attacks each. Uh, the centaurs have a strength of six, and they get plus one for charging. So they're looking for sevens. Yep. Okay. And two attacks each, so ten dice. Ten dice in total. Okay. Looking for seven. Okay, so we've got a couple of misses in there, but only a couple. Yep. One there and one there. Okay. So eight so hits in total. That's eight hits in total. You have a total of two, four, six, seven guys. So you've got to allocate an extra one to somebody, which probably is the leader. Probably the leader. So again, strike value one. So you're looking for sevens or less because your armor is eight. 
Uh, one fail on the leader. Right, so the leader gets a re-roll. It's got true. a tough special roll. So everyone's fine except the leader, who is fine again. He's fine as well, so absolutely no damage there. No. Uh, a bit of a drawback. But the knights get to fight back now. They are armed with uh, swords, yep. which gives them plus one strength and plus one strike value. So seven, seven. Attacks. Or a mixture of hand weapons. All basic hand weapons are strike value one and strength one. So, uh, strength of a knight yep. is five. Only five plus one. So you're looking at sixes, and you have uh, seven guys. Seven guys, and the other one is the leader. But I don't know if that makes. No, it doesn't make any difference. So one, two, three, four miss and okay. three hit. I'm gonna put one on my leader. Okay. Now the centaurs, um, they have. A armor value of eight because we've got medium armor. Mm -hmm. So down to sevens. So and they pass all save. of them. Okay. So uh, no damage from either side. So now what we do? We count up the amount of pins to see who won the <laughs> combat. Well, I have three. Okay. And as you can see there, the knights unfortunately have three pins, so they get defeated in combat. Oh yeah. So they now need to make a test. Okay. So the knights have a rule called zealous which allows them to ignore their pins when they're testing in combat. So effectively, um, they're testing against an eight um, because they're not... And that's and a five. So, okay. five. so now what we can do, uh, the attacker can either decide to break off the combat yep. or they can fight another round of combat. Now I'm strictly speaking winning the combat, so that gives me um, plus one strength still. Um, and I've still got a the chance here because of the fact that um, there's three pins advantage. So if I can take one of the knights down, put him on four, I'd have to lose a lot of centaurs in order to lose the combat. That's true. Um, so I'm going to fight on. So I'm going to do. Okay. Some, I'm looking for sevens. Okay. Plus one for winning. And six, six. Ooh. Not so good. No, nah, it's not so good. Wowzers. Is that three? Three successes. Three successes. So still need one of these to work. Yep. Um, so, uh, one on the leader. Yep. Uh, eight down to seven. Uh, the leader's failed. And the leader is dead. Uh, five, yeah. Because it was a zero. It was. So you can't re roll that. So the leader so is dead. So the leader, uh, let's have him as the leader. Yeah. Okay, he is He's dead. He's copped it. That's another pin. It's another pin. Right. Also lowers your command value because your knight leader is one higher on command. All right. Okay, so this could be relevant. Now, because it's simultaneous, he still gets to fight back, so you still get your seven dice. Yes. <coughs> and you're still at plus one, so you're on sixes. I'm on sixes. Uh, which is just two fails, so that will be five Okay, hits. five. So there's one on each. Uh, okay. The grey dice is going to be the leader. He gets a re-roll. Okay. And uh, we're looking at sevens. All right. And again, the centaurs win the combat. <laughs> they just okay. bottling. Um, so, again, it's another break test. Um, oh, God. Still ignoring the four. Um, the drawback now is because the leader got slain, yeah. uh, the command value of the knights is only a seven now. Okay. Right. So, seven or less, otherwise they fail. All right, no pressure. Okay, oh, that's so a that's nine. A, that is a fail. The knights have broken. Um, so they've lost their combat and they failed the command roll. And now if they had passed, we'd have just broken away at this point because you can only fight a maximum of two rounds of combat. Um, now, unfortunately, the uh, the knights have to roll a d6 and add that amount of pins. <laughs> the drawback is the command value now is only a seven as they've lost their leader. So if they hit the same amount of pins as their command value, the unit is destroyed. Um, so a three or more and they are destroyed. Otherwise, they are just going to be running for the hills. Okay, so here we go. And oh, five. there's a five. Okay. That is the knights, unfortunately. Oh, they copy. ran onto the hill, met the centaurs, hit by rocks by the harpies, magical bow, just too much for them, and the knights have uh, retreated off um, and been destroyed. What they can do now is they get a consolidation move, which is 1M. Um, so they are going to um, move themselves now over here. Trying to be more than 10 inches away from those archers, so that if the archers get their dice out first, they don't get the plus one. And it's the knights again. Okay, so. So we're in a bit of a pickle here because uh, Gary only needs four more dice to be taken out of the bag to win. So I need to pick and choose my battles quite carefully. So what I'm going to do, just to see um, what he'll do. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple by just advancing up my halberdiers, mm -hmm. just because I want to see um, what he will actually do next. 
Um, he's got a little bit of shooting over here, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, the thing is, I want to try and stay alive for as long as possible. Okay, so it's uh, Beastman dice. So I'm going to try and see if I get these guys to pass an order check. Okay, um, so they're too oh. far away from my warlord, and I've lost my leader. Okay, so um, I need a six base minus one, five or less for them to do anything. And eight says that they go down. So effectively what that means is that they fail the launch check, they don't get to fire this turn, yep. and at the end of the turn, I still need to check to see if I can get that dice back in the bag. Okay, it's me. Right. So now that those knights are gone, are my right flank, and the right flank pretty much is owned by the beastmen. It is. Um, uh, whereas I had my minotaurs over here to add support in case that didn't come up with the knights, I'm now gonna start to move these guys back towards the center of the board. No massive rush on that. Using the woods as cover. And it's me again, so I'm gonna do exactly the same with my lord. <laughs> They're just chilling behind a, a bush. So They're just gonna, we're playing the, the horns of the buffalo for anyone who's a <laughs> Zulu fan. <laughs> okay, so we need to uh, get our other horning gear in a minute, but uh, Oh, it's me first. So I'm going to activate my knights, uh, and I'm just going to uh, run them up. So basically, we're going to just do an advance of eight because they've got a fast rule, which basically is eight. Now, what does it happens if they go through forests? Okay, so if you just walk you through the forest, you're fine. So okay. you just move eight through. Yeah, that's the that's the battle plan. So we're just going to go here. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to trot them up. Okay, so uh, horses, and they went through. A, as you can see, they went through the. Uh, the shrubbery, shall yep. we say. Okay, which is rough terrain, so yep. you need to pass an agility check, Okay. Uh, which is a four. Oh yeah, that's okay. gonna be fun. Two. And they pass. Oh, they're fine, so no they can problem. stay exactly where they are. Right. If they'd failed that, they would have had their movement reduced by half. Absolutely. Okay. Here's another knight. We're gonna do an advanced move uh, with these archers over here. Yep. So, I need to move them up because I need to take some sort of casualties off the board. I know it's going to be only fours, I think, uh, because they're so far away, but I need to start doing something over this side because otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble. So what we're going to do is we have these guys here. They're going to move and they're going to shoot this uh, beastman unit here. So they've got a range of 30. So from the furthest guy at the back, obviously you can tell that is definitely mm -hmm. plenty of range. So yep. we're going to have so six shots. Six shots, accuracy of five, over long range, so fours. Um, only one hits. Okay. <laughs> so. uh, but it is a longbow, so uh, strike value of minus one. So my guys are standard five because they're unarmored with spears, so I'm going to just put it on a normal grunt. So a four or less. Four. Five. He gets it, but He's he does gone? take a pin. But there is a pin over there. Mm -hmm. Next one, Gary. Another night. With Pete the Cat, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, a run because um, wizards can do a movement and then still do a spell. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do, and the drag uh, fireball is 20, 20 inches. 20 inches. So what but we're going to do. You do need line of sight. It is true. And this marsh, is it flat or is it. Uh, yep, yeah, you can uh, shoot across it, it's not a problem. Okay, so we're going five, five to put her there. We're going to go a bit aggressive because we are a little bit down now. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to fire at that horrific unit. What we're going to do is we're going to go with these boys here. Well, I think she might just be out. No, she's out. She's out by she's literally out. a hair. Now, I've got a feeling these archers are probably going to be slightly out of range of those halberdiers. So they're going to just sort of move up a little bit into the woods. Okay. Just going to move these trees around a little bit. Because they've already started in the terrain. They don't need to roll for No, they still need checks. to test. Four. Uh, four is a pass, so is they're okay. Yeah, they're very okay, good. Okay, so now I need to check the range, which is 20. Out of range of the longbowmen, really, which yep. is a bit of a shame. Uh, but in range of the halberdiers. So we're going to put um, five shots over there. So um, accuracy of five, uh, but long range, so down to fours. Uh, nothing. Um, she, he's going to move up to there, on a run, and then step into the woods, so an agility check. Mm -hmm. 
Passes. Passes, fine. And he's going to cast Fiery Balls, which is effectively a fireball spell, <laughs> at those longbowmen. Okay, so um, when it comes to spells, uh, Fiery Balls has a casting value of 9, so I just need to get less than 9 in order to cast this. Yep. And it'll do D3 plus 1 damage, as I'm only a level 1 wizard. Nine, I do get it. Okay. Okay, now, um, Lee can potentially try and dispel this. So Which, one um, of the things we didn't do in the test game with Lee is the fact that each wizard has a conjuration they can do uh, in the game. So a conjuration is they get one per magic level. Okay. So I've got a nine, which isn't great because Lee's only got to beat that to dispel it. True. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to use my conjuration now, okay, which basically gives me a reroll. So okay. I get one reroll per magic level. Right. All right. So I'm going to use it. There is a risk because if I get a zero, it'll be a uh, miscast, but I can't get much worse than a nine and a five. Now that's going to make it a lot harder for Lee to actually dispel this uh, because if he wants to try and dispel it, He'd need to beat that, so a one to four. Well, we'll try it because okay. I don't want to lose those okay, arches. Remembering though, if you either get a zero on a dispel, you can miscast. Oh, that or is true. If you fail, you take a pin anyway. Well, let's let's try it. Seven. Seven. So it's a fail. So it's so a you fail. take a pin on the wizard. Well, I'm okay with having a, a pin on her. It was worth it. Just trying to get a. And then it's D three there. plus one hits on the archers at strike value one. So we have three hits on the archers at strike value one. You want to put one on your leader? Oh yes, please. Okay, so your um, archers are res five because they're unarmored. Yeah. Down to four. Right. Orange dice is the real. So okay. one, one, three. They're all okay. All passed. So oh, fire, balls, right fire in. Um, but just gives you the pit. So my next one will be my spearman, who are just going to try and pass an order check. Uh, my warlord is just here, so I can use his value. And they fail and they go down. Ooh. Okay, so that's them down. So they don't get to activate this turn. Uh, they get to activate this turn and they will have to test again to see if their dice can go back in the bag for the next turn. Gosh. Um, and these beast men here, they're just going to hold their ground. Um, okay. I'm quite happy at the moment. I'm drawing you in here. It's the only real option you've got. Yeah. And I'm moving around on the right flank. So I think overall, I'm just going to leave it there. So what we need to do at the end of this turn. <coughs> is any units that are down, which I've got two, yep. they need to test again to see if their dice can go back in the bag. So okay. these guys here, yep. um, on an eight minus one, seven or less, no. So their dice uh, stays out of the bag. Okay. They do lose a pin. They do okay. lose a pin though, okay. Uh, and this unit here, yep. their dice goes back in the bag. Okay. So they're back in, uh, right. but those Ungor Spearmen can't activate in this next turn. Right, so one other thing is uh, retaining orders. Uh, you can retain ambush orders, you retain down orders, obviously, as we've just seen. Um, now, the centaurs, they charged uh, the knights on a run order. Now, what that allows them to do is they can retain their run order uh, for the next turn, uh, which means their dice stays out, and either they will activate first in turn two, or if there's more than one unit with a run dice in the game, then uh, you dice off. Okay, so the centaurs will stay on a run order. All right, all, other than that, I think all the other dice are going back in the bag. That's true. And we'll all start turn two. First things first, uh, we've got a unit with a active order, which are the centaurs. So, um, well, the obvious thing really is for them to uh, charge those archers. Uh, they will take fire, but equally, um, I think it's the sensible thing to do. Mm -hmm. So in they go. I feel this is uh, going to be very painful and educational for the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, first thing we need to do is exchange missile fire. Okay, okay. so both parties get to exchange missile fire. Um, centaur accuracy is a six, so it's down to fives with their spears. Uh, they do have Dead Eye Shot, which allows one reroll, thankfully. Yeah, uh, can't so be the zeros. Okay, so it's two successes. Okay. Um, the archers have a strike value of one against them, and they've got armor of five, so fours. Okay. Take it on two grunts. I'm not going to do okay. the leader yet, so we'll see how we do. Uh, uh, one dies. One dies, one saves. But. Okay. Uh, and remember, you get six dice back. Yes. Again at minus one, so fives down to four. Come on, lads. 
That is the worst kind of roll wow. ever. That is four tens, eight and a nine. Well, you're not meant for this world, guys. <laughs> it's it's a sign. Okay, okay. So first things first. Uh, one archer is dead. So you take a pin, and they take a pin. Oh yeah, right. So how many archers are remaining? Uh, you have five. Five. And that's, and that's a... eight hits. Yeah. So um, allocate uh, five first. Okay. Then you then have to allocate um, three more. So yes, we allocate one to the leader, and then one four. to each grunt. Okay. Yep. Then it leaves you with three to allocate one to the leader, there and there. So what we now have to do is we have to test. So the two guys who only take one dice. Yep. We roll those. Okay. I'm looking at fours or less. So okay. one guy is dead. One guy is dead. Okay. Then. The next guy now has to pass both saves because he doesn't have the tough roll. Okay. Um, um, he is also dead. dead. <laughs> and the next guy. The next guy. I guess this could be a trend here. Is he dead. He dies. He does die. And now let's just see this uh, leader. Can Fryer Tuck survive? No, he is also not meant for this round. No. Uh, so, so he could re-roll the eight, but unfortunately the zero is still going to kill him. Yeah, it is. Uh, because he doesn't have wounds, he just has one re-roll. So unfortunately he dies as well. That so, leaves one left in the unit. Yeah. And a total of uh, five pins. Five pins. One for the exchange, yep. four for the casualties. Yep. However, you do get... Six attacks back. Um, two, four, five attacks Oh, five attacks back because one guy... killed in the exchange. Yeah. This is uh, not looking good. Um, two. two. I'll put one on my leader. Okay. As you've got no strike value, I'm looking at eights. All right. Uh, both passed. Okay. Okay. So the centaurs clearly won that. Uh, five to zero. Um, and as such, that is a break test uh, on the archers. Now the archer leader is gone. Yes. So archers without a leader have a command value of seven. So you need a one or a two to stay in this fight. Right. Okay. Let's just see. No, That's a three. So D6 pins, first of all. Oh yes, D6. Let's see how many pins they can get. So five. Uh, that takes up to nine. nine. So that's a unit broken. So they are destroyed. <laughs> and uh, right, lads. again, the centaurs get to a consolidation. Actually going to just move back over to here a little bit. Back up onto the hill, I think. Yeah. What are we going to get? And it's a knight dice. Knight dice. I need to just kill at least one unit so I can get known for a fact that I've killed something in this game. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to stand still and I'm just going to shoot everything uh, that I can. Uh, so I'm just going to do a fire order. All these archers are going to try and shoot your shaman. I know it's in cover and stuff like okay. that, but let's try and get a body off the board. Okay, so first things first, you're pinned, so you need to pass an order check. That is 100% true. It's a 10, so no, no, no don't do it. And so they it's go another down. pin. Uh, no, it's not oh, another no, pin, they, they just go down. down. They just go down, they yeah, don't get go to down. do anything. There's another night dice. Oh, another night. Could have thought it. What we'll do is we'll activate the wizard and she'll do a run and then cast a bit of a fireball. Okay, doke. So again, order check because she's got a pin. Oh, she has got a pin. I keep forgetting about this. Uh oh. So her command is nine, so minus one is going to be eight. And eight? Does that is that a pass? Yeah, that is a pass. Yeah, okay, eight or less. Lovely. She's going to walk through the marsh and risk it. Of course, screw it. Wait, you only live once in this game. I'm probably playing this horrifically wrong, but you know, we're gonna we're okay, gonna move so her first up to there. First, it's an agility check. It is an agility. Otherwise, check. Otherwise, you can only move half. So her agility is five. Okay. So the roll is a five. Five. So, we're so fine. she's fine. So she can move full distance through. I'm gonna blow up one unit. Well, try to. I'm gonna try and kill the last of those archers yep. off just to get on the board. Casting value of nine. Here we go. Five. Five is a success. Um, so I will try and beat it. We're mm -hmm. going to try and beat it on a four or less. Four. There four. we go. It says so. it's dispelled. So I'm definitely feeling this is going better than our test. Oh, the test run. I wish we were filming that, <laughs> to be quite frank, but it's all good. Yeah. Everything seems to be going okay at the minute. And another oh, wow. Plenty of dice. Let the good times keep on rolling yeah. over here. So what I'm going to do is hmm, how, uh, I'm gonna run uh, and I'm gonna run these guys so we're gonna just run 10 to just come up here and get ready for the onslaught but then if I do survive I can try and activate him next turn but mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this flank is death. Okay, we'll just keep it with me. Man, it's a great one. Gosh, this is... Is there any brown? There is What's brown. The There's plenty of brown in there, don't worry. Right, Green Knight, he's gonna run into the centaurs. Go on. I ain't got much to, to win by, so... Uh, Okay, so you're more than 16, so it is a, uh, is yeah. a sprint to get there. It is there. a sprint to get there, so, okay, so sprint he's in. literally there. Okay, so agility check. Agility check on the green knight is going to be a 5+. plus. We get a 8, which right, is fantastic, so, so that starts with a pin. Okay, go and in. then we have an exchange of spear throwing. It's true, you get to throw all spears. amount of spears that seem to be thrown by centaurs. We get one reroll. Yep. So far. Okay. So two successes. Two successes. And that's at strike value one. Strike value one. My champion is at nine, so it'll go down to eight. Yep. And that's a five and a nine. Okay, so he does have the tough roll, so he gets to reroll the nine. Oh dear gosh. And it's a ten. And oh, that is a wound. <laughs> okay. So the green knight takes a wound. But now it comes into combat, so... So, the Green Knight gets three attacks. He has a magic weapon. It's true. Uh, which is... Um, what's his magic? Helm Cleaver. Plus one strength. Strike value of three. So, he gets three attacks. And does the horse get one? <coughs> he does. Um, so, the horse is hitting on five. Strength five. Plus one for charging six. Um, the champion is strength uh, six. Uh, plus one for charging takes you to a seven, plus one for the magic weapon takes you to eight. Okay, so the horse misses, but the green knight hits twice. Okay, I will allocate one to my commander uh, as it's strike value three. So I'm looking at fives because I'm on at eight. Both survive. <laughs> Both survive on okay. fives. So this okay. is good news for the centaurs as they have won the combat. Yeah. However, they get to fight back. So let's see what happens. I don't think the green knight's meant to last. I'm scared. So it's a total of six hits. It's strike value one. So you're saving on eights. So let's see what happens. Uh, there's a nine in there. Uh, so a nine, you can re-roll. A nine, I can re-roll. A five. Uh, five, you're okay. Yes. However, you do lose the combat by one. I do. Um, as such, um, you have to make a check. Uh, but you do have the zealous rule, so you're doing it off your base. Command value of nine. Which you passed. Just okay. with a nine. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't wish to fight on, so uh, you may depart from the combat. So we both break off. As okay. I won the combat, I can elect to either carry on or not. So uh, you move one M backwards. So I'm going to go eight inches. I'm going to just consolidate to go mm -hmm. about here. My centaurs, now that the green light is activated and those halberdiers have activated, they're actually going to move eight inches further. Oh, of course. Here. However, they can't move within an inch of an enemy unit unless they're charged. It's true. So, but they've run this turn as well, so yep. they can't go again. It's me. Okay. This guy, I'm going to activate him, and he's going to advance slightly up to here, and he's going to shoot at your priest. Okay, he's going to shoot here at the priest. Okay, so one shot of his magic power. Hits at strike value two. Do you want to put it on the priest or one of his... Um, put it on a bodyguard. Bodyguard. So it's strike value two, so you're six down to a four. Nope. Ten, so a, a bit like put it on the priest, otherwise he would have been dead. So uh, one priest dead. And a pin. Uh, and a pin. There we go. Okay, so what we've got there? Let's have a look. Uh, it's a knight dice. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, halberdiers. Yep. Uh, just gonna do uh, an, a, a normal walk up because we just need to try and there's no one else I really want to move. And unfortunately, they have to. Next dice out is yes again. Right, we'll move the priest up because I don't want to okay. do anything too much yet. Uh, he needs to do an order check. He does, actually, doesn't he? Yeah, well, we'll do an order check. He's got one pin. See how it goes. Um, Four. Says it's fine. So he's fine because he has a commander nine. Yep. So what he's going to do, um, he is just going to run. Uh, this way, just okay. because um, he's scared, um, and so he's going to just go there with his buddy, uh, just leaving up a little bit of room, possibly for the knights to do at least something. Okay, so the next dice is a brown one. So okay. We're going to activate this unit here. Okay, these three little guys here. Um, 
They're gonna try and just put a cheeky pin on these halberdiers. Okay. Uh, oh no, they are under ten. They're so, under ten. Um, no modifier and plus one for them doing a fire order. So sixes. Uh, two successes. <laughs> two successes. Uh, no strike value. So uh, you know, nominate it on grunts or on. One on grunts. Let's just do it on the grunts. Probably better put one on the leader because you're going to get reroll. Oh, that is true. Yeah, but so sevens. Sevens. Both, Both fine. Cast anyway. So Oof. just take the pit. So there's a cheeky pit. Oh boy. Okay, we are going to try and cast fiery balls on the. Arches again. Okay. Okay, so I've already used my uh, conjuration, so I just need to get a nine or less and a five. So uh, one to four if you wish to try and dispel it. I will try and dispel it because <coughs> I can take a pin if I fail, nope. which is a nine. So yeah, we'll just be a give it a pin on the wizard and then and fireball D3 goes off. Plus one. Uh, so that's a six, so that's uh, four. <laughs> four hits on the archers at minus one. So saving on fours, you using your leader or not? Uh, yes, we'll put one on the leader, which will be grey. Um, uh, grey one passed anyway. Everyone uh, dies the other, other than the leader. Died, so another pin on the longbowman. Yeah. Friar Tuck's still alive, however. Three of his mates have Three of his mates are dead. Okay, so because you've taken um, half your casualties in one round of shooting, uh, you do need to take a break test, and that's going to be at minus two. But your leader is still there, um, so the command value on an archer leader is eight. Is eight minus two for the pins gives you a six or less. That's a uh, seven. Seven, which you fail. <laughs> so it's a D six additional pins. So we're going with an extra three. Extra pins, three pins. Five, and it is a run backwards. It is a run backwards. Um, so you're on five pins, and it's a two M backwards. Okay, so it's uh, I think we're going to activate these these men here. They're going to charge your halberdiers. So okay. it's going to be a halberdier off here. Halberdier uh, off. So let's have a look. So ten. I am actually within normal distance. Okay. As long as I get one in, the rest then all go in. There's no exchange of fire. No, because we don't have we any don't have shooting. Any shooting weapons. But mine's an eight-man unit. Yours is a ten-man unit. Okay, so remember, plus one strength for charging, plus one strength for the halberds. They have a base of six, so we're looking at eight. I wonder how many might hit, though. Okay. Eight under. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, that'd be Every good. single one. That'd be all of them. Your armour yep. is seven on the halberdiers, if I remember it right. Is, it is, it is seven, yep. yes. So seven. Minus two because they're halberds, so fives. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Um, uh, and your leader failed and can't re-roll because you've got a 10. Um, so that's two dead. Yeah. Three dead. Four, four dead. dead. Five, five dead. Should yeah. we just move one of those sprues up? Because that's exactly five. <laughs> yeah. So look, we'll give you six pins there, look. There we go. And we'll leave them in place just for the moment. Oh, gosh. Okay, so you do get 10 dice back. I do get 10 uh, dice back. Not the same. So it's uh, plus one for the halberds. Yes, so it's basically five value is going to be strength five, then plus halberds. One, six. six. So you're looking for sixes. So fail, fail, fail. That's not bad. Uh, yeah. Seven. Seven yeah, hits. Seven. Okay, so the leader survives. Um, however, the rest don't do quite so well. So it's a total of five dead. Um, yeah, five beastmen yeah. dead. Four and uh, five. Okay, so these guys are dead. Yeah. Um, now I take five pins, one for each casualty. Yeah. Um, but the problem... I have five pins, you have six, so I win the combat. Yeah. Uh, that's a break test for yourself. You need a one. No, that's so a six. D six pins. If you and get then... a one, you're destroyed. There you go, you're destroyed. Two. Wow, that's uh, another. Another uh, unit off the board. Another unit off the board as uh, yeah. men at arms get crushed. The Beastman unit, having taken all of those casualties, is actually going to consolidate back um, where they might be able to regroup a little bit because with five pins, that's horrid. But can the green knife hold that left flank? Nope. Like so, we're going to activate these archers. We're going to put some uh, shots into. Uh, these guys, okay. uh, they're more than 10 inches away. 
Uh, three hits, uh, no strike value, so armor save of seven, one leader. One on the leader. Uh, leader fails because of reroll. Yeah, that's true. And she passes. Uh, so, one casualty. one casualty. And they get a pin. So, one guy cops it. Okay. Sorry, lad. This is a last night dice, which is the Lord. Take it. Smash them into that really badly unit because... Okay, so we're going to try to attempt to charge over here. Okay, so um, knights are fast eight, so effectively they have a 24 so inch we're gonna, we're gonna threat range. So they're going to be there. Yep, so it's an agility check to see if they don't take a pin on the way in. I don't get a pin, that's a okay. two. In they come. Boom. Why not? Okay. okay. Strength for six, plus one for the halberd, so I'm looking at sevens. And I didn't get anything. No. So, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so we have uh, five horses. Yeah. Okay, these guys are hitting on uh, sixes, and uh, strike value one. Um, uh, two two hits. hits. Two hits from the horses. We've then got four knights with lances. Yeah. Who are going to be hitting on um, sixes again. Yep. Sixes. There's three hits. Uh, three hits with the lances. And then okay. my main geezer. And then we have three attacks uh, with his magical sword. Okay. And again, he's going to be... Strength six. Strength six for charging. Strength eight because of the sword. Wow, nothing. Uh, right, so he got too excited and He missed. got way too excited. Okay, so we now need to allocate some uh, some damage. So... So uh, you can allocate one of those. So do you want to put one at minus three onto my leader? Yes, please. Yeah. So one at minus three onto my leader. Um, I'll then put those two onto the grunts. I'll put one more onto the leader and one onto him. So the leader is armor seven, minus four on uh, minus three on both of these for the lance charge. So I'm looking at fours. Nope. Do have one reroll, but oh, it's not enough. It's not so enough. that's going to kill the leader. The next guy, the grey one, is strike value one. Yellow, uh, sorry, orange is strike value three. No, he's dead. And the last guy is he survives. He survives. Um, however, that's going to be a command check on a one. Okay. You got this. So let's see. see. Can be. No. So d6 pins, which is probably going to be enough because I'm already on seven. Uh, so in actual fact, I'm destroyed because yeah. with the leader dead, my command value is only seven. Okay, so next dice out of that must be mine. It must be yours because I've got none. So four dice, four dice, all for you. We're gonna activate the harpies. Ooh! And we're gonna fly over here, and we're gonna throw a rock at the knights, soften them up a little bit before the minotaur charge. Yeah, I think they're not meant for this world. Accuracy of five, um, and I've got dead eye, so re-roll one if I miss, as long as it's not a ten. Okay, so reroll one. That's two, two hits at uh, strike value one. One on the leader, so we're going for eights. Okay. And that's an eight and a three, yeah, they're fine. So they're both fine, but, okay. but they are pinned, which is what you wanted. Yep. Okay, he's going to move up over here. Ready to try and influence the game in the next turn. So, um, they're not within ten, so they're going to have to do a agility check. So, agility of a Minotaur isn't going to be great, so four or less. Nope, so I'm going to take a pin. But they're in. Now, ideally, I didn't want to take that pin, but however, here we go. So, Minotaurs, um, two attacks each, and there are my blooming big axes. <laughs> okay, so basically, these Minotaurs have a frenzied charge, so they get. One extra attack each, so it's uh, three attacks each, so it's nine in total. Uh, their standard strength is six, they get plus one for charging. So it's sevens, and it's strike value two. So, can they open up these knights? Uh, we needed sevens, didn't we? Yeah, only three miss. Yeah. I will put two on the leader. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are at strike value two, so armor nine down to sevens. 
Okay, uh, so uh, one knight falls. Yep. Uh, leader gets a reroll for the tough roll. Which no. fails, so he takes a wound, which yep. is the equivalent of a pin as well. Yep. So it's a total of three pins. Three pins uh, for these leader guys. Leader has a wound, and one knight is removed. Come on, horses. Hitting on fives for the war horses. Um, um, four hits. misses, three, four hit even. Yeah, four hits. Four hits. So put them to one side. We have then four guys with lances who are on uh, strength of knight five. Yeah. So five. Um, three hits there. Three hits. Well, they're strike value one, so then we put those together. Yeah, put them all they're there. the same. Because if you're not charged, with a lance, it's strike value three on a charge or strike value one normally. Right. And then you've got your leader. Yeah. Uh, who has got the magical sword. Which gives him plus two strength, so he's on sevens. This time it okay. uh, gets two. Okay, so we just got to allocate them off. Uh, so in total, we have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. That's nice and straightforward, it's three each. Um, the armor on the Minotaurs is res of eight, so they are sevens. So the first Minotaur needs to pass all of these. Which he doesn't. Okay, How many so, wounds they got each? Uh, they only get one wound. Uh, they've only got. Uh, yeah, they don't have wounds. Uh, they just have uh, tough on the leader. So that is one Minotaur dead. He's okay. He's fine. And the Minotaur leader, we can reroll one. I didn't see which one that was. So uh, it was a six. Oh, was it a six? That's it was fine. A six. Yeah, so you're fine. Okay, so uh, one Minotaur killed by the knight's attack. The Minotaurs have won that combat yeah so the knights have to test on a nine again here we go let's check there's five. a five so that's fine. fine um so the minotaurs i think are probably going to break off the combat okay um i'm not going to get my extra attack so i've only got four attacks now don't forget your knights because it's break off they can move one m as well oh no i'm going to stay where i am oh okay fair enough I know, I know he's coming in, so I'm like, champion versus champion, mate. That's what okay, I want to go so, for. Um, right, so it's a uh, sprint to get in. Let's see what we can do. So, I'm just charging in, and he is a four or less. Perfect. One, fine. He's up okay. for it. He's, he's up for it. He's got the advantage. So, uh, Minotaur Lord gets four attacks. Yep. Okay. Uh, because he's frenzied. Um, he's strength six. He has the battle smiter, which gives him plus two strength. Takes him up to eight. <coughs> Nines because he's charging. Nines? Nine. And Nine? He's, and he's savage, so he re rolls. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, they all hit. They all hit. <laughs> what a surprise. What a surprise. However, the drawback is his strike value is only one. So, uh, it's four hits. Uh, uh, one on each. One on each, yeah. And blue one being the leader. Yeah. And you're looking at eights or less. Um, oh, oh, another, another knight. Nine another four. knight pops it. This is what we were after, basically. So another pin, so it goes to four for those guys. Yep. Yeah. So the only way that the knights can win this combat is by killing the minotaur. Is 100 percent true. Four horses. Uh, hit fives. on fives. Uh, two uh, hit. Two successes. So three lances. Uh, Ooh. Only two successes. Two successes. It's on four hits so far. Magical sword. Magic sword. Uh, like a boss. Three successes. So that's a total of uh, seven strike seven value ones. Saves. Like strike value one. Get a zero in the Michael Lord pool. Okay. Oh my gosh. He's okay. He loves it. He loves it. He loves it. So that's a, a fail in combat, which <laughs> means um, you now have to do a break test. Anything but a ten. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so they're fighting on. Right, so um, I think for yeah, the viewers, I think for the viewers, yes, okay, I think so. I will fight on on that basis. So I lose my frenzied charge now, so I'm down to three attacks. Okay, but I am hitting on uh, nine. Eight, nine still. Uh, plus six, plus two, plus one, because I'm winning the combat. Yeah, nine. nine. Three oh hits. gosh. Okay, so it's one on each again, and uh, it's minus one strike value. So, so eight. again, down to eight. Oh, save. Uh, all save this time. Alright, three horses. On fives. One uh, One hits. success. Uh, two lances. Two lances. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, one hits. Okay. And then three attacks with the magical sword. All hit. Okay, so five saves. Anything but a zero, right? Anything but a zero. He's all right. So again, it's another test on the knights. Yeah. Um, nine or less. Yep. Three. Yeah, they're they're okay. fine. All right. So we break off. That way. Interesting. Um, the knights. They're going to stay where they are again. Okay. I'm just going to keep them there. I think. Yeah. Okay. And that ends turn three. So we just need to take some dice in. Yep. Um, so I'm going to leave the centaurs on run. Yep. Leave the Minotaurs on run, they're on run. Yeah. Um, so, their so dice goes in, their dice stays out. Yeah, it does. Outing. They're staying out. Um, yeah, but leaving it, them on run. Leaving them on run, and the Green Knight is no, going to be left on run. And that right. will end. Is that turn two? That's only turn two. So. Jesus. Yeah. Right, so the first thing we need to do is, is. we've got some units with uh, retained run orders. Yes. So we need to dice off. Um, oh, yes. So uh, let's. Uh, See who gets to activate one first. A one. And a one. Oh. A ten. Five. Oh. So that would be uh, me to go first. Let's go with these. Let's try these. So, um, command value of eight. So we need a six or less. Okay, six or less. Ten says they get out. Okay, so that's not good. Okay. That's really not good. Because now, uh, if you charge units down, it's not simultaneous. Um, so it's my turn to, to use a run unit. Yeah. Hmm. Let's move my knights in then, Gary, yeah, into okay. your champion. Let's try and finish him off. There was some epic fighting earlier, so let's try and finish him off. Okay, so not all check first anyway, actually. Yes, it is. Uh, that is minus 100% four. true. So, minus four, and I got a command of eight. Uh, that's a two. two. You do. So you I do. Drop a pin, and in you go. So, I'm at okay, three a pins. Okay, gamble there. It was. Like true. So, uh, three horses. Yes, so three horses. Uh, strike by Five. Uh, hit on sixes. Sixes even, yes. Uh, one. Uh, one hits. Okay, uh, two lances. Sixes again. Uh, yep, both perfect. lances hit with okay. two threes. And then the dude magic. on the back. Uh, uh, magic sword, three. Magic yeah. sword, so three dice and hitting on seven. Two hits. Eight, because, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah two, hits. two hits. So, um, all strike value one, aren't they? No, the last is a strike value three. Oh, um, yes. So, I've got armor ten. Um, so, nines on the greys. Yep. Sevens on the orange. Ooh. Okay, so, um, seven nines on the greys. Yep. So, there's one that's potentially hurt me. Yeah. Um, he is tough though. So he has to re-roll so it. So he has to re-roll it. Seven or less. Six. Six says he does it, so no damage. No damage. So now he fights back. So he only gets the three attacks because he's got no frontier charge. True. Um, and he is hitting on eight. Uh, two successes. Two successes. Two hits. Take one on the leader. Uh, oh, the leader needs to re-roll. I uh, can't re-roll that because it's zero. Oh, that's true, so that's he's dead. Wound. Oh no, wound, he's only got one wound, hasn't he? Uh, no, two wounds, he's on one. So he takes a pin for that. Uh, so you lose the combat by four. Well, that always seems to work out for me in my favour. Okay, favorite. so uh, nine or less as you are zealous. Nine or less. And there's yep. a two. So okay, so I'm on the combat. Yes. I don't think I really want to fight you again, so uh, let's break off. Okay. All right, so uh, your guys have to move off. Where do you want to go? Just straight back like that's yep. fine, yeah. Okay. And he will move. He just don't use. Okay. So it's now my turn to use one. So uh, no order test for me. In they go. No. And, and then it's... throw some spears at you as I come in. Um, two successes, so it's a pin. And yep. two saves. On eights. Two uh, on eights. Um, wow, well, that one is fail, uh, one fail. Is he, is he tough? He has got mm, tough three. Yes, yeah, so he can reroll one. Oh boy. He's, he's fine. But he does take the pin. He does, so he's at two. But now. Okay, so now. Ten attacks. <laughs> ten attacks. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, eight. Six. All right, eight. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, oh uh, my gosh, he's bosses him somehow. Okay, so three attacks back in return. Two for him and then one for the horse. Uh, right? No, you get one for the horse, so uh, there you go. Horses is five, isn't it? Horses is five. He will be yeah. seven. Uh, yeah, all of them hit. Right, so first things first, uh, we do the guy against the war horse. Yep. On a seven. Passed. He's fine. Now we've got the guy with the sword. Mm -hmm. uh, leader. Um, strike value three, was it? So that's a fail. So re roll on the leader. Five or less. Yep, yep he's fine. okay. And five or less on the two centaurs. One dies. One dies. Okay, so you lose the combat, so I you do. need to test on a nine. Here we go, nines again. Come on, green knight. That's oh, a one. What a okay. boss. All right, so that's the combat done. Um, do I want to fight on? No, I think I'll back off. Go back in. Chip it away. Let's keep going back in. I need to do a command though to see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so this is on a seven, I presume. Yep, yeah, because um, it's command nine. Is it command nine? Yeah. Yeah. Four. So, he's yeah, fine. So he loses the thing going in anyway. Cool. So he's oh, down well, to I'm one. Now throwing four spears at you. Yeah. Five fives. Uh, one re-roll for dead eye, which I forgot last time, but don't worry about it. Uh, so three successes. Three successes. So. Uh, strike value one. So eight. Eight or less. Uh, oh, one, fail, one more wound. So he gets re -roll. Oh boy. No. no. So he actually on, does take a wound. He's on one wound. Okay. So uh, <laughs> saving on eight or less. That's a lot. He's already used tough, hasn't he? Uh, no, we don't know anything. It's an eight. Oh yeah, it's fine. So somehow he saved <laughs> so six. No damage. So then three and then the he horse, is isn't it? Is it three for the horse? No. Uh, one for the horse and three for the horse. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Five. He's on six because he's charging now. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, um, so two misses. Two misses, two hits. Okay, so we'll put the um, big one on the leader. Yep. So leader is saving on a five. Uh, standard centaur is going to be saving on a seven. Oh, both, both five. Saved. So, again, Centaurs win. Uh, so, uh, break test for the knight. Oh, Ten, he's time gone. He's gone. He's broken. He's so broken. D6 additional pins. Oh, boy. Six, Six. so he's so up to eight. He's on eight. He's on eight pins, and he basically now moves back. Could that be him? To oh, yeah. M. Oh, no, two movement is going to be 16. Him off the, almost yeah, off the board. Quite. Oh, my gosh. There's the board edge. Holy oh, cow. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Now I'm thinking I'm going to go for the monk. Uh, can't get to the monk on a sprint, so we'll sprint him to the monk. Oh boy. So agility. Five. So, so he takes a pin. So he takes a pin. Okay. However, he's charged in against the monk. Um, so he gets four attacks for the frenzied. Strength six, plus one for the charge, plus two for his weapon, so nine. Ooh, oh, I missed with one. one. That's three, so one on the monk, one on the pre. Uh, so you can allocate two to the bodyguard. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, so the monk has failed, but the monk does have tough, I think. I believe he does. Uh, or the priest. Uh, yes, he does, he has tough two, so uh, he can reroll that. And he fouled again, so he takes a wound. And then his uh, bodyguard is dead. And total of two pins, one for each wound okay. caused. Um, and they have a strength of five. Um, and there are with maces, so it goes up to six. So sixes, uh, one, hit. one misses. Yeah. Okay, saving on that. Uh, eight says he's okay. Oh gosh. Let's see if they break. Uh, that is, is a fail. That is so, a fail. Uh, that is d6 pins. D6 pins. He's already got three. Uh, he's, and what's he? Oh. So one will be four. Four. So he's at four pins and he breaks from combat. Uh, he's in route. And then he runs away again. And the Minotaur will. They're quite. I don't really. 
I will get eaten by I feel like thing. I'm probably gonna have three units run off the board, mate. So, that's the end of the those bits. So, um, anyone in route, those two, uh, yes. they basically both go 10 inches so off. So, there's another point to uh, you. He's not quite off yet. Uh, the green knight will. Uh, no, because uh, he's gone this turn. It's not the start of the turn. Oh, right. In actual fact, he's back there. Okay, so it's not that, but it is the those archers, archers. Archers have run off. But it's it's 4 1. Okay, so first dice out the bag. Turn three. Yep, turn three. Okay. Okay. Harpies. Ah, oh, the wizard. Throwing rock. Ah, oh, this could be the end. Harpy. Oh, no. Oh, okay. They fly into a routed unit. As they fly into a routed oh. unit, that automatically destroys the routing unit. Oh, and that kills it. And that's the game. That is the game. Holy cow. Gosh okay, darn Harpy. So, so basically, um, Harpies have charged in, killed the knight who's in route at the moment. So they basically just clawed at him, killed him. Um, automatically destroy him if he's in route. Um, so, um, obviously a demo game earlier uh, <laughs> went a lot different to that. It was, uh, it was. This was a, really a complete uh, victory to the, to the Beast Men. Um, you didn't see it unfortunately, but in the demo game it was almost a bit of a roll reverse. It was a roll reverse. Um, so, uh, the Knights of Bretonia uh, basically um, surrender. Um, the Beast Men cook them on the fires tonight. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately the knights don't live to fight another day. Okay, so that is Warlords of Errol. So um, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed the, the demo, uh, or the battle report, sorry. Um, I'm gonna do a few more of these. Obviously we've got quite a lot happening with Warlords of Errol. Uh, if you're local to Hinkley, which is smack bang in the middle of the country, we're planning three tournaments this year using this rule set. Um, be good to see as many of you as possible come along. Uh, we'll post up some information about that in due course. Uh, other than that, absolutely loving this game and uh, enjoy.